Going is us like going is God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up, right. You looking at the way they looking at mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Facts. So, um, so nonetheless, I just did what I could control, man. I just went through it. Um, uh, finished training camp. Um, made a lot of plays still. Mm -hmm. um, I was always at the top of the charts when it came into the meetings. It was like, okay, who made plays on the ball? Who did? I was always at the top of the charts. And yeah. I always was getting compliments from my teammates. It was like, T, man, you showing up on film. Yeah. It's from the offensive guys. You yeah. Know, like, you're showing up on film. And the only thing I can do would be like, man, appreciate it, man. Mm -hmm. That's what I would tell. I say, appreciate it, man. But you know, mm -hmm. I ain't hearing it from the white people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's that's the way I felt about it. And uh, you know, just the pressure of not only the performance part about it, like I can't mess up at all. So now, throughout the night, man, I'm waking up like 15 times a night. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll say this for training camp. It's brutal because you're getting up at five as a rookie, five thirty in the morning, mm -hmm. six o'clock in the morning, and you may not be getting back to your room till like eleven o'clock that night. So that's training camp. You know what I'm saying? Four a.m. to eleven p.m. Then I ain't going to sleep as soon as I get to the room. That just right. ain't how I'm built. Right. You know I gotta yeah, unwind. Really, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Drilling is still going. I gotta yeah. unwind, so I might not be going back. Sleep till one o'clock. Yeah, maybe. Two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe two. Like, and then I'm waking up 15 times a night because because I'm like, man, and I can't be late. Up at five. I can't do Whoa. this. I can't be late. And all of this stuff just hit me even when I'm sleep. Yeah. So I'm like, man, this. I'm like, man, this ain't it right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this ain't it. But you know, I was willing to stick through it. Mm -hmm. You know fight through the battles and uh, nonetheless um, got released from Houston and uh, Green Bay was the first team to call. Green Bay was the first team to call me and they wanted to bring me in for a workout and you know I just started that process you know right away. Like I, I, wasn't, I wasn't really disappointed when I got uh, released by Houston. Right. Obviously I wanted to, like I said I wanted to make the team yeah. but I didn't. Yeah. The reason why I really didn't want to make the team because truthfully, I had had one of those coaches who I don't think I could have played with. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I had one of those guys, and I was already under so much stress. Exactly. At that point in time, that was so, gonna do nothing and but then I got more. somebody else in my in my ear, like yeah. that's cussing me out every day. Yeah. All of this right here, I'm like, man, look here, man, I ain't built that way. Mm -hmm. I'm built to do a lot of things, but I ain't built to let another man another man talk to me. Right. Right. So we gonna get that straight right now. Mm -hmm. so I I go home to mama before I, I let you yeah. talk to me like this. Nah, that just respect in my book. You know what I'm saying? 